certainly need to be some sort of hero to be on the junior mounted games team and the Irish certainly were last month when these brave boys became mounted games European champions. The sport has been growing since 1994 and evolved out of the pony club games. It is fast, furious and requires athleticism and speed worthy of Olympic champions. There are team events, individual events and games like this one, bending in and out of poles, the pony and rider, a unit of speed. Ireland has risen to the top. Mark Keoghan is this year's individual European champion and when you watch him, you can see why. Mark Devitt is the mentor and trainer of the Junior European Irish Champions and a former world and European title holder himself. Mount of Games is it's, it's a relay, a relay, a relay games on ponies. You have five riders in the team, the four of best go, and it's, like, it's agility, you know, it's um, with the vault, you know, you have to be athletic. So that's what they really are, fast and furious. The last couple of years, Irish are dominating the sport. We're a very small country, we don't have that many riders. We'd have about 70 riding members in our association. France would have 1,200. They won the World Team Championships last year and the, World, and the European Team Championships. But we're, we've won the World Pairs last year, we won the European Individuals, the World Teams two years before that. And in the Europeans last year, we were 1, 2, 3. The atmosphere in the main arena is second to none. There is probably two or three thousand people there, all screaming for everyone that's in the final. You can't hear yourself think, but that's where, that's where hard work comes into. You have to zone out from that and concentrate on your job. Fourteen countries came to the venue at Tattersall's to compete at the Games. It was a huge achievement to get the event to Ireland. You know, it's a massive gathering and it's, you know, you're probably talking about 280 competitors their families, their grandparents, you know, it's a huge, massive gathering here, you know, it's a, it's a great year in the year of the gathering to bring it into Ireland, you know. And the Irish know their stuff and the under-14s look set to follow their junior champions lead. It involves a huge commitment. There's a lot of training beforehand, getting teams together, going to trials, getting teams together and training. And it involves nights out, weekends away, competitions all over the country and in England and Scotland and Ireland and Wales as well. So to eat, there's a huge commitment? A huge commitment, yeah. Time and money. <laughs> the preparation for an event like this is massive. The car park is like an international festival and the benefit to tourism is huge. 150 volunteers came on board, arena parties and duty for a week and of course they all had to be fed and Deva cooked hundreds and hundreds of meals. It's your family, it's your own family, but it's your extended family. And when you've been travelling around the world, these are great opportunities to meet all your people that you're friends with all over the world. And to meet all the young people, because more than anything we're friends with the young people. And over the years you develop and you watch them grow and mature, and they're coming back and it's, it's lovely. That's the loveliest element of the The competition for the individual title was intense. This is Mounted Games at the top international level. You have to, you have to compete at the highest level, so first of all that's, that's one element. Getting, getting the horse fit, getting yourself fit, and you have to have the brain for, for to, ride, to know how to ride the final. You need to know when to go for it, you need to know when to take a check.